for you to vet them in the in the sense of who are they behind closed doors um what are their uh, behaviors like attitude like and how are they towards you and not only that how are they towards their children because that gives you a key indicator of where their priorities are and not only that if you're looking at long-term relationship the way that they behave towards their children in that face will give you a good indication of what she will be like when you're in a relationship with her towards you and any children that you have when you get into a relationship. So it's it's not rocket science. And I think what we're doing now with young men, and it's led mostly by um, a lot of feminine men and women, is that we are bringing this notion of falling in love is what you gauge relationship with. It's not. It's what quality does the other person bring to you and what can you do to complement those quality to make the relationship work. And I always talk about compromises. Compromises are two-way street. You should never compromise to the point where one pe- uh, one person holds more power than the other. And if you do give in in certain situation, it should be addressed immediately after that compromise uh, has gone either direction. So the way that I, I look at our relationship and just how I analyze the situation right before we got into a relationship i didn't care much about love in that sense i cared about what what this woman brought to my life and me giving her boundaries and it was very simple my boundaries were when i'm working i'm working please do not hassle me um when i do find the time i'll you know we'll get together do whatever it is that we have to do but please do not hassle me while i'm working and not only that uh, do not bring your kid around. We're still dating. I do not want to add an imprint to a child who has no grip on what the world is from an adult point of view. And I do not want to imprint a memory on him that is just um, come and go. One of the biggest things that I'm so grateful for is that my parent uh, gave me a sense of how truly important having family, having a family was and the role and responsibility of what a what a, a male figure is in the family, especially as a father, and that's how I gauge my relationship moving moving um, throughout my adult life. Now I'm not saying that these were always the way that I looked at it, but in the sense of where my relationship was at its beginning and where it is now, I didn't choose her for love. I chose her because she was a feminine woman. She catered to me and she left me alone. Because ultimately, and this is the logic behind it, if I am so busy, whatever it is that I'm that I'm chasing, whatever it is, whether it's my career, an entrepreneur, a business, if I'm busy right now and we are able to make that dynamic work, I will be able to invest the same amount of energy towards our relationship once we fully commit. And knowing that you support me even before a relationship lets me know that that's going to be a consistent thing once we get into a relationship. So... You can't predict these things, but you can look for telltale signs of certain women who have those extra uh, packages that they bring to the table and know when to avoid them or when to say, hey, this is not going to work. Let's not waste each other's time. You know, go look for what you need as a woman and I'll go look for what I need as a man. So vetting is very important, especially as a man in a, in a dating market where majority of your suitors are um, single mothers.